Here's my drag rudder on my left wing. So I've got a drag rudder built into this. As you can see, when I go left, the drag rudders open up. I've got a separate control surface for the whole aileron. It's going to be an elevon. And the, as you can see, if I go right, the drag brakes stay closed, neutral and then left. They also will be gyro controlled so they'll stabilise the aircraft in flight for a finless flying wing. I'll show you how it looks. Is a servo with a spring loaded mechanism on riding on a shaft push rod going to an idler arm which then controls two push rods and I'll show you in more detail what's, uh, how that's applied. This is the wing closed and when I open it you can see the mechanism two push rods get pushing two surfaces away like that. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay this is the device my device here it'll push I haven't connected it but it'll push a uh, surface with a push rod and a control horn a couple of push rods there this one's the upper surface and the other one's the lower one you can see the idler arm there. When it goes to the, for example, this is for the right wing. If I push it to the left, it works against the However, when I go right, it'll push both of these push rods in one direction. And there you have it. Maybe if I do it a bit closer, here we go the spring, then it pushes. That way I can maintain a close surface and it'll be like Steps. neutral. With the uh, wings in place I'll just grab my transmitter and you'll see that that's one drag rudder, the other one's closed and if I close the other one, this one here, and then open the other, so there we have it. So step back here. And then there's a gyro as well that affects it. So if we check the gyro, there's a gyro there. So that what that I'll get Gian there to turn that little gyro a little bit like that just gently and there we have it thanks Gian